Welcome back to Bitsby Trip, and this is your host, Carter. Let's get into this. Earlier this week, I tweeted out a picture of the BBT farm showing nearly a page full of machines with 31 days of continuous activity with zero reboots and no downtime. This is the proverbial dream for miners to achieve a zero touch environment that is running 24 seven with only scheduled downtimes. In most farms, about every 90 days to 180 days predicated on stability, a farm will take some time to power down machines and racks perform a physical inspection and fix any related issues to rigs. For our farm, this includes dusting and cleaning GPUs through a range of processes that includes ultrasonic cleaning. Rockstar stable uptimes relies on temperature control, minor configurations by and large. Sometimes silicone laundry will play and require you to adjust even a single card here and there, but understand the stability of your GPU comes really down to the iterative testing. Luckily for most, the configurations, OS settings, and physical layout is more than likely tried by somebody on the internet. So being kind enough to share through posts, comments, or YouTube videos really helps out the community. Researching and finding the basics for your particular GPU, motherboard, and power configuration are key first steps on most mining journeys. Most of these configs can be found on channels like this one, where we cover our experience through observe and report format. What settings work for me with my particular configurations, OS, and hardware layout, given the right conditions, should by and large work for you. There are many other channels that do this same approach with a more frequent release schedule on their videos. Look below in the description for must follows and be sure that you do give them a follow and enable that bell icon when they release a new video. The next thing is to make sure you've allocated enough time and patience to get through configuration or hardware issues. All of this stuff looks like fun and games, but in reality, like any computer problem or a slow, felled process, frustration can definitely get to you when you're trying to identify what the culprit is causing your rig to be unstable or just outright not work. Understanding this up front will prepare you for times when you're having to tear down, rebuild, and start over again on a rig. It's all about establishing a process and understanding the various components of what they do. While videos may help you get to it, this really comes down to the time invested. As you've seen a few months ago, BBT Todd and I were working through a process flow of cleaning, updating, and fixing the farm after a year of solid, continuous operation. That is, year number three of the four total the farm has been online. This is not to discourage you from getting into the mining space, it's just to set expectations of the hours required to main such an operation if aiming to build at scale. The past six to eight months have been one for the record books to say the least. Cryptocurrency, especially Bitcoin, has been blasting through all-time highs with many of the DeFi projects, tokens, and other layer one networks like Ravencoin, Ubik, and Vertcoin starting to pick up some price discovery themselves. This comes down to a testament of the hard work and grinding that, that took place over the last four years since the last all-time high run, which largely was a speculative bubble, as most of these projects were still in their infancy. At the end of the day, it comes down, if you are a miner, you are a service provider. Allocating your capital and operations expense for proof-of-work security to the network you choose to point your hash at. Our incentive is built into the protocol, and our drive to become more lean, efficient, and seek out the best situation in our given area of operation. As we work all together as a community and share best practices, we all get that much more efficient, and to help each other get our operations as sound as possible. Make sure you connect, contribute, and share your stories on your journey as this is just getting started. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.